Oh, okay, everyone. I did bring out my two chuggy today. Wow, I don't just have two, but I, uh, yeah, yeah, for the past few months, I was, I was playing with my uh, Wessler and my Max, right? Yep, uh, they're all fixed again. <laughs> yep, and uh, still testing the liquid tip on the battery. And also, yeah, I bring out a shuffle because I need to shuffle it. I tried it uh, two days ago and, yep, I cannot jump. So I need to shuffle the snow first. Okay, let's uh, shuffle first and I'll bring out my chucky. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Need to test this uh, chucky because uh, two days ago, I found that uh, I big noise like an elephant noise or something <laughs> when I jump it and I find that all my boats are loose on the deep case some of the area I really uh, put a uh, put some lock tight but now when I do it like I'm going to put lock tight at all the boats for sure because uh, when it uh, bounce like when it jump and land if I break the screw and it came out Yep, okay, let's just do it and see if I really fix it. Seems like it's okay on the ground running around right now. So, don't know for jumping. Ooh, ah, yeah, bad landing. First one, always on my first one. Yeah, I did pick out my shirt fuller today. <laughs> I thought it's going to be a lot of snow, but it melted a little bit probably. Oh, ah. Ooh, see, uh, it's a little bit slippy on the skate park. I try to shuffle it, but the snow is packed, it's solid, so there's no way I can uh, shuffle those snow. Ooh, oh, way away, way away. <laughs> I break my uh, strap. I hate this. Chances. Look at this. Again. <laughs> Maybe I put too big of a wheel here. I didn't bring my a spare out, oh, right? So uh, that's it for this. Yeah, I already broke my uh, max because uh, of that big wheel. I hope I'm not going to break this whistle that soon. Oh. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Uh, seems good, but don't know yet. <laughs> well, um, you guys probably wonder why, how come this guy always uh, keep coming to this gay park? Yep. Um, oh, I'm trying to practice. Yep. Uh, yeah. I want to become uh, a little bit better on jumping uh, and uh, one of the guys that I've been following since I'm jumping uh, oh, is uh, this guy, I will leave a link down there um, yeah, uh, whoever is learning how to jump, follow that guy That is, he is a very good guy, he uh, put a video so that uh, he can teach us how to jump He's the pro of the pro. Oh, every time he lands, just bounces. Yep. Oh. Uh, that uh, that guy, like his channel, he never upload any more video. But I think he's a very pro jumper, right? Even the people that you know on the internet nowadays, like that the person who load up their video, is not as supposed uh, as that guy. And also he teach, he really teach us how to jump. So whoever know, want to learn how to jump, look at look at that guy's video. Yeah, I will post a link down uh, underneath this video, so that you guys can take a look what I'm talking about. If you guys don't see that video, you guys don't understand. He is really, really a pro, but he's um, he's not posting up any more videos. That is uh, uh, one bomber. He's, I think he's probably way better. Well, I don't know, but he's way better than 
which Duper Bash and Kelvin probably. Because by the way that he used one hand to, uh, to teach us how to jump, I don't know. I really don't know. I'm not saying that uh, Rich Duper Bash and Kelvin is no, uh, not that good. They're, they're, they're the pro. They're very pro too. I'm not saying that like the other people, they are not really pro, but this guy, he really teach us. He used one hand, uh, and then on the, yeah, he only used one hand, ah, <laughs> sorry everybody, <laughs> I wasn't concentrating, that's a power of snow over there, and I hit that. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I'm not that good yet, I'm trying to practice uh, using that video. Because it tell you a lot. That video tell you a lot. It teach you how to jump. Oh yeah, the tide is getting colder. It's, uh, sleeping. Yeah, I want to become a pro like them, like Rich Dupabash and Kelvin. But I'm not up to that yet. That's why I need to practice. I want to jump, like not just jump it. When I run it, like Rich Dupabash. Keep going and jump, jump, jump. Keep jumping it on the on the course. But I still have to know how to flip my chuggy because uh, I, I I don't know all the flip yet. That is the problem. I know how to control it. Uh oh, my wheel, my wheel is uh, bumbling or something. <laughs> Say, you know, nowadays when I put the big tire on my Max, the Wessler is more doable. <laughs> oh, 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 no, that, no, no, not that one. I was sideways. If you can get it straight, it's so easy to crash. Oh, ah, oh, fun head. Oh, I picked something. I picked a drive. I can see it. I can see it. <laughs> I can see my drive. That is a bad landing. See, you know what I mean? If I, I, I don't fight, I don't uh, run straight. Okay, everybody, yep. Um, have you can see, uh, my video is quite short today because, uh, <laughs> wow. Nowadays, my truck is just break down on me all the time. First, the max, because it have a big tire. That's why it always break. But I don't know if I should go back to those two tires, the uh, Badland and also the uh, original tire. But I don't know yet, because I have a 7mm hex in, on there, right? Uh, the 17 one, yeah, but uh, I don't know. I will think about that first. And my wrestler, it break a uh, drive. So I have to fix them. And uh, I don't know if I should go for GPM drive on the wrestler. Um, I did order the uh, for the Max the GPM uh, drive, so uh, that's coming. And also today I'm so happy my Y Max came, and my uh, extra diff, uh, diff case or bow head uh, assembly is here, so I can exchange them. And every time when I broke the front bow head or whatever, I can switch this in and I use this one and then I fix that one and then if that this one is gone, I will keep switching back and forth. What happened is uh, this is the weak spot, uh, the bow head, uh, front bow head. It keep uh, cracking on me and stuff, maybe because I play it in snow in winter, I don't know, but this is a weak spot, that's all I know. Because uh, I keep testing on everything to see how it uh, hold up. And dry shaft, you can see the back. Dry shaft, the outer dry shaft is a uh, weak spot too. So, um, yeah, you can see it break up where the pin and the plastic is. That is the weak spot for the dry shaft. And the other part, I haven't baked it, right? I, didn't, I, haven't, I haven't broke anything on the other part except this on a big wheel. So um, when you put a big wheel like this, you know this dry shaft have this kind of weak spot. It didn't like it don't break on the other part. It didn't break on the other part except this where the metal meet the plastic on the outer drive. So that is a weak spot, right? Uh, for sure. Uh, even if you are using a small tire, the original tire, I'm for sure one day you will break that part. Because uh, this truck is a little bit heavy and the tire cannot, well, the hacks, 
uh, I mean the dry shaft where the hex meet it, it cannot handle it where the plastic meet the metal. Yep, uh, that's one weak spot, and that is the other weak spot. So that's why I bought another extra one so that I can exchange it every time I break one, I broke one or something. And the Y Max, <laughs> I don't know how uh, it it hold up or how my chucky will hold up with this Y Max, but I will try it on the uh, uh, stock drive, like the plastic drive first, until the GPM come. And we will see if it fit with the Y Max, but I don't know when I'm gonna do this because uh, it, 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 that's a lot of work. <laughs> I, I, I'm quite a busy man nowadays, so uh, I don't know if I have time to uh, do it way right away. But we'll see. I hope I can get it running next week with a Y Max because I want to fight nice. This Max is too skinny, and every time when it go to the air, it shake like crazy, right? And uh, sometimes it turns to the side. But with the Y Max, it's like you have a wing. So I hope that will help. I hope that will help. And I don't know if I'm going to use that uh, big tire, the T Max or E Max tire, because uh, it keeps breaking my drive. So uh, I might, I might, I might go back to my old one, my uh, original Max. But I have a problem with the hacks using that one when I jump. It break the hacks. I either break the hacks or break the drive. So, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Original one too. I keep breaking the hacks with this plastic, right? I try to look up for the metal one. It's quite expensive. It's more expensive than the T Max uh seven millimeter hacks drive. That uh outer drive or uh, hub or whatever. Uh, that's a hub. Or, uh, I don't know, but. Yeah, that um, yeah, that has uh, hacks thing. So uh, I don't know what to do, but how think about this first? And also, uh, like I said, um, on this video, um, I want you guys to uh, look at the my description and check out that person that I've been following uh, since I jumped my uh, RC. He's one of them that I follow. Kelvin and also Rich Super Bash, I did uh, follow them. But this guy, this guy, if you guys are learning how to jump, if you want to become a jumper, uh, click on the link. Look at it. He really teach you how to do it. He ne he don't he don't upload his video anymore. But this is a really 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 good teacher, and he leave it all like uh, without deleting that video. Um. Uh, thanks to uh, I don't know I I I I don't know his name but um uh, I didn't look at it careful I think it's selfish uh what um uh, something <laughs> I don't remember yeah but he's a good teacher since I uh, jump it I keep looking at his video and learn how to jump right and yeah uh, even if you got a pro you got can look at it he used one hand to jump. Uh, on those video that teaching us how to jump, he used only one hand to control his uh, radio, and he can jump with it uh, so nice and so fast and quick and spinning so quick in the air. So I don't know if anyone can do that. Use one hand that can jump like this guy, um, and he never load up a new video anymore. He he probably didn't even look at his uh, YouTube anymore, but. Um, it's a loss to us who uh, who's a jumper and who's uh, learning how to jump too, right? And yep, uh, yeah, like I said, um, it's not that I I am saying that uh, this guy is um uh, better than Rich Super Bash or Calvin Tarber, but he's a good teacher. He lift this video up. And uh, so that we can learn how to jump, cause he's I think he's so pro that he don't even care if he someone learn it. He knows no one can be like him or something. I think <laughs> I don't know uh, that 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 because uh, he never answer on like uh, whatever when I trying to talk to him. He he didn't talk right, so he didn't even uh, check his video anymore. So it's a loss for a lot of uh, new jumper, right? Whoever learn how to jump, who's learning how to jump. Uh, but he's a pole. He used one hand just to control his RC, right? To show us how it jump, 
And he, his chogi is running so quick too, right? When he's using one hand and uh, try to show us how it jump. So uh, people, yeah, look at that video for real. I will post it down there. And yeah, that's it for this. Uh, yeah, I know I don't have a good radio today because uh, I keep breaking my chogi for the past few weeks. But uh, yeah, it's a good uh, thing if you guys click on it. Look at that guy. I don't care if you guys don't give me a like or don't share or don't subscribe this time. Just look at that video. Even if you're a pro, look at that video. How good that guy is. He's a pro and a pro or an a pro. He's a super pro. To me right now on uh, on, on on 2020, because no, I I never seen anyone using one hand and drum like this. Uh, when well, nowadays, uh, uh, even if someone did, they didn't post up their video. That's why I want you guys to take a look at that. That guy is a super pro, and and Kelvin and uh, also uh, Kelvin Tauber and also uh, Wish Super Bass, you guys are super pro too. I, I hope one day I can become like you guys, but uh, it will take time, a long, long time for sure. I, I, I'm I still trying, trying my best, but my chuggy keep breaking down. And also, people, uh, anyone, um, if I'm going to buy uh, armor, because I, I, I want to get a chuggy that really don't break down on me like this, right, when I mop it, um, do you guys think uh, outcast is better? Uh, Outcast success, success is better, or the Creighton success? Because uh, I want to uh, mop, mop that uh, chuggy for sure. Which one will fly better and spin better in the air? Can anyone just tell me? Because um, I want to buy I, uh, just one armor. Because uh, I never own an armor, right? And I want to mop it with uh, M2C or, or Photoshop Hobby or whatever that is out there. I want to make it strong so that I can jump it. Um, Outcast success or Creighton uh, success? Or if they, uh, the 8S, I'm not going to buy it. Come on, man. I, I'm in the one-fifth scale one. Come on, man. I'm not good at jumping yet uh, and I need a lighter chug chuggy to do that and smaller chuggy so uh, people let me know uh, which one is better um, yeah g leave me a comment and uh, tell me which one is better the outcast for it to jump like I mean for it to jump for jumping it uh, which one is better right uh, uh, after you mop it with uh, M2C or whatever which one jump better Right, which one flip better or flip a little bit more or I don't know which one fly better in the air, the outcast with M two C uh, chassis or the uh, Creighton with M two C chassis? Yeah, let me know. Yeah, and yeah, if you guys still want to, you guys still can uh, share this. Oh, I have to share this because um, come on, man, I want people to look at that uh, whole guy um. Like teaching us how to jump, so share this. That is the only thing that I want today. Share this. Share to anyone, anyone, right? And also, uh, subscribe if you if you like today, and or give me a like if you like, uh, if you like it, if you like this video. I I don't even care. The only thing I want people to do is to share, to share this video, so people will look at that um that pro guy. Yeah. Okay. Bye now.